Good day students. Today we're going to look at some more solutions to some practice problems. This is from your Math 1025 books. Of course, uh, this is from uh, book 2. So, Math 1025, and of course we're in book 2, which is starting chapter 4, and this is on page 14. Okay. And we're asked to simplify each algebraic expression where possible. Now, where possible means sometimes you can add, sometimes you cannot add. Okay? This is often referred to as adding and subtracting like terms. Now, like terms, the phrase like terms is very important. You can only subtract and add like terms. Like terms means same variables, right? V-A-R-I-A-B-L-E-S with the same exponent on each variable. Okay, so they are like terms. So we're looking for, if we look at the very first example, M, here's the first term, X squared. Now terms are separated by plus or minus signs. So this has one, two, three, four, five, six term expression. Now, can we add any like terms? Is there any other x squareds? Just x squared. I see one here, negative 2x squared, and I see one here, 3x squared. Now, you don't need to rewrite them with them next to each other. We're going to combine these three to give us one term, because they're like terms. So all we do is add and subtract the coefficient. Now, the coefficient in front of the x squared, the very first one, is understood to be 1. So you're doing 1, and then minus 2, okay, so 1 minus 2 plus 3, right, combine these three together, and what will you get? Well, 1 plus 3, I'll add my positives first, that's 4, and 4 subtract 2 is 2. So this gives me 2x squared, okay? So three terms are done. Now, are there any other terms here? Yeah, three other terms. Can we combine any of those? Well, let's have a look. The next term, I'll change colors. Just to show you here, the next term I see is a y squared. Are there any other y squareds? Yes, there's a y squared right here. So, they cancel. Right, because it's plus 1 and minus 1. So, they'll actually cancel out. Are there any other terms left? Let me just move that a little tidier. And so all the, no, nope, we have a negative 2y right there. So there's no other y term, so we just carry that down. So it would be minus 2y. So there's your complete solution. There's a simplified algebraic expression for m. The next one, s. Jump down to s. Now again, must have the same variable with the same exponent. So is there another one that has x to the 5, y to the 4? I see one over here, x to the 5, y to the 4. So these are like terms. All right, so this term and this term are like terms. We combine those two together to give us one term. And what would that one term be? Well, you just add or subtract the coefficients. In this case, we're doing what? We're doing 13 minus, so pi 13, subtract 9, which of course is 4, right? So the very first two combine to give you 4x5, y to the 4. Now, next one, I have x cubed, y squared. Are there any other x cubed, y squared? Well, there's one right next to it. Look, x cubed, y squared. So we're, it's minus 2 plus 10, okay? Minus 2 plus 10, of course, that gives you plus 8x cubed y squared. Now notice, when you're adding or subtracting, the variable exponents do not change. They only change if you're multiplying or dividing. So when you're adding or subtracting, the only thing that changes is you combine the coefficients together. All right? And is there anything left? Oh, I see a 7 there. We must carry down that 7. There's no other constant there just 7. So there's the final answer for S. Okay. 
And the last one is T. Now be careful, sometimes they try to fool you. Watch out for the squares. Uh, M squared N. M squared N. No. They're, well, this one is not, they're not like, are they? These are not like because the square here is on the right two on the n, but the square here is on the m. Remember, they must have the exact same variables with the exact same exponents. So no, these are not like, so I cannot combine those. Matter of fact, I don't think there's any like terms in this expression. Let's see if we can find any. No. There are no like terms. So guess what? That is your final answer. This last one has no like terms. So therefore, we cannot do anything with this expression. This is indeed the final answer. So there's no adding or subtracting there. All right, hopefully that gives you a little insight on adding and subtracting like terms. That's it for now.